And it is with mixed emotions tonight that we say goodbye to one of the most trusted reporters ever to appear on television anywhere. Our senior investigative reporter, Steve Andrews, has decided to retire. What a career he's had. He spent more than four decades in broadcasting, and of course, most of that with us here at WFLA, 35 years in Tampa. And through those years, we've learned that he is a good man who gained your confidence and ours, and we're going to miss him. They could threaten him. When I'm through with you, Steve Andrews, you won't have a job in McDonald's. And that's not a threat, it's a promise. They could try to avoid him. Where are you going? But those who became the subject of a Steve Andrews investigation knew it was just a matter of time before Steve exposed them and their alleged wrongdoing. He put their feet to the fire like nobody I've ever seen. Friend Gail Searens was in the anchor chair in 1985 when Steve arrived in Tampa. He was tough, but he was kind. He's a good family man who loves his daughters and his wife with great passion. If you're his friend, you're a friend for life. But again, as a journalist, you did not want to be on the wrong side of the law if Steve Andrews was around. Are you ready to go to prison? Steve has been around WFLA for 35 years. Every time he appeared on TV, you knew it was something you needed to see. Thank you. A trusted voice for the voiceless, someone who could hold the powerful accountable. Shut the camera down. Steve's journey in journalism began in 1973 on radio in Lewiston, Maine, where he also worked part-time as a TV reporter. He and his wife Paula had two daughters there before Steve's passion for reporting took them to San Antonio, Texas. Within two years, the family was on the way to Tampa Bay. Did Mr. Coe ever pay you back money that you lent him? Throughout his extraordinary career, Steve has proven to be a tireless defender of those who needed their stories told. In recent years, he became an advocate for veterans' health care. If I can find a story where, you know, David versus Goliath and David's not winning, then maybe we can do something for him. And he did. Time and time again, Steve leveled the playing field. It was a lot of work, but it was a labor of love. He loved what he did. For the past 22 years, Steve worked alongside I-Team photojournalist Gordon Dempsey. We might expose a problem, but then we would stay with it until he was able to find some sort of a solution or get some justice for the victims. Steve's inner drive and conviction earned him multiple Emmys and a Lifetime Achievement Award. We will miss his expertise, his tenacity, his fairness, and his witty sense of humor. Paging Senator Scott, Senator Rick Scott. There can be no doubt senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews made a difference in our community. As he transitions into retirement, we celebrate with him and honor his enduring legacy of integrity in journalism. Very well said, yeah. Keith. And it is his integrity. I mean, Steve Andrews is just, he's a friend. He was there when you needed him. Funny little side story about Steve. When I first came here in 2000, Steve and I, I don't think we hit it off right away. I'll be honest with you. It was like, <laughs> he would come over and go, you know, Keith, what I would do with that story is like, you know, dude, I don't need the help from you. I'm thinking to myself, I right. thought I'd do it I know it what all. I'm doing. But you know what? Steve was right. And I would always go back and dug on it. He was right. You know, he's he mentored a lot of guy. people. And for those of you who don't know, Erin Andrews from NFL Football, Dancing with the Stars. She's a, a well-known national commodity is his daughter. She also covered the 2004 the Lightning, Lightning yeah. when they won the Cup the first time. And tonight, she has a little tribute for her dad. Hi, Daddy. Congratulations on your retirement. It is so well-deserved. We love you so much, and we can't wait to be all together so we can celebrate with you and hug and kiss you. We love you. Ah, so sweet. You can see many more tributes and messages for Steve Andrews right now on our WFLA app.